All right. How was everyone today? Good. Yay. Remember this is how we, Yeah. This is how we uh, clap for deaf people. Remember, they is deaf, so if you need to talk to her, you are. Did you know that? You. Yeah. So we. Need to, <laughs> so if we need to talk to Zay, we have a wonderful special guest, Nathan, here. Say hey, Nathan. Hi. Hi. So if you need to talk to Zay, make sure Nathan's around. And we'll get started with our wonderful starting song. We are going to the library. We are going to the library. Yes, we are going to the library. And we'll have so much fun. People go shh at the library. Yes, people go shh at the library. Yes, people go shh. Tim Burton. Okay. So let's take an adventure today. Big shark, little shark. I think there's a little snail in the corner too. Oh, I didn't notice that. How do you say shark in sign say? Shark. shark. Can everybody do that? Shark. Think of it as like here's the water. And then a shark spin coming up through the water. So shark. There you go. So we have big shark, little shark. Okay? You guys can sign along with say. <clears throat> big shark has big teeth. Little shark has little teeth. Oh look, there's Kelly. <laughs> Big shark swims fast. Little shark swims slow. Big shark it um, is hungry. Hungry. It is time for a snack. Big shark sees a little fish. Little fish. Hey, look at starfish. <laughs> That's awesome. My cat did a real. The little fish swims fast. <laughs> Big shark swims fast too. Uh oh. What's gonna happen? I'm so scared. Look, Callie's even swimming away from him very fast. <laughs> Big shark goes chomp. <gasps> what do you guys think happens? I'm scared to find out. Look at Sebastian. <laughs> but the little fish is too fast. <laughs> that was close. No snack for Big Shark. I got these two right 
Big shark, swim slow. Little shark swims fast. Little shark is hungry. It is time for a snack. Little shark sees a big fish. This is getting interesting. Look at the snail. The sea snail. You guys see the sea snail right here? Yeah, I see it. The sea snail? The sign for snail? Uh -uh. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Awesome. The big fish goes chomp. <gasps> Poor little shark. Swim faster, little shark. Swim faster. The big fish is gone. Little shark is still hungry. Aw. Please me. That is very true, bro. Hey, look, sea kelp. How do we say sea kelp? Little shark sees big shark. Uh oh. Big shark is still hungry. Uh oh. What do you guys think is going to happen? Look at those little blue fishies all scared hiding in the kelp. Wait, little shark has a net. What do you think they're going to do with the net? Catch a butterfly, baby? I'm curious. Let's find out. No, that's good inside. They caught some fish? Yum. They're not hungry anymore. Ooh, that was good. They shared the fish. So we learned that sharing is caring. Yeah. <laughs> also, don't eat your You might always have a share. Fish are friends, not food. <laughs> Yay, we finished the work. Thank you. So there we go. We're going to sing along. And every time we say that, we're going to do it with our hand. Do a sign language. What's that called, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the Oh wait, so we need to learn shark. <laughs> shark, we need shark. Everybody needs shark. So we're gonna add that on. Shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Ready? There's a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a shark. There's a shark. There's a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Oh wait, we didn't learn eel either. What's eel? 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 There, we know eel now, so let's try adding that on. Ready? There's an eel and a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's an eel and a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's an eel. There's an eel. There's an eel and a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Oh, what animal's gonna be next? There's a squid. Where do we do squid? 
squid. All right, we're going to add that on. Ready? You didn't say nothing yet. There's a squid and an eel and a shark at the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a squid and an eel and a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There we go. There's a squid. There's a squid. There's a squid and an eel and a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Alrighty, this next one's easy. There's a crab. How do we do a crab day? Crab. Crab. Here we go, doing crab. There is a crab and a squid and an eel and a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a crab and a squid and an eel and a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a crab, there's a crab, there's a crab and a squid and an eel and a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Ready? Here we go. There's another one. There's a snail. How many snail? Snail. Snails are very slow. There's a snail and a crab and a squid and a eel and a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a snail and a crab and a squid and an eel in the shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a snail. There's a snail. There's a snail. And a crab and a squid and an eel in the hole. In oh, there's a shark! There's a shark and the hole in the bottom of the sea. Ready? Here's the last one. We're almost done. There's a kelp. How do we do kelp? Kelp. Kelp. It's growing. <laughs> There's a kelp and a snail and a crab and a squid and an eel and a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a kelp and a snail and a crab and a squid and an eel and a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a kelp. There's a kelp. There's a kelp and a snail and a crab and a squid and an eel and a shark in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole, there's a hole. If you ever go to the sea now, you'll know what to sign. You know the know. You solved your problem. Okay. Oh, no. Whew! That was a long song and a lot of signs. No, so I think if I can get untangled from my tentacle, we'll do thank you. We'll read a book about the sea. It's one of my very favorite books. It's called. The Rainbow Fish. Do they like it? They're clapping. It's called The Rainbow Fish. It's by Marcus Fister. Feister? The P is silent. That's all I know. This is a 25 year old book. It's an oldie but a good. Here we go. The Rainbow Fish. Here we go. You need, a, you need some time? Oh, you want to watch me? Here we go. <clears throat> a long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just any ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. Here we go, look at who we got. Really pretty fish. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him 
rainbow fish. Come on, rainbow fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the rainbow fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. So look, they're all wanting to play with him. But he's like, no, I'm going to swim on by. <clears throat> that doesn't seem very nice, does it? You don't mm. have red shoes. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. There's a little blue fish chasing out the rainbow fish, saying, hey, what's up? Want to share? You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are, cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. All the fish don't want to have anything to do with rainbow fish anymore. Rainbow fish? No, yeah, it's rainbow fish right there. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. So we got an octopus now. There he is, consulting starfish, asking for some advice. And there are Here we go, let's see what happens. <laughs> <gasps> the rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Then, suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. There he is, this is a big, scary octopus. I see him. I see him. I saw him. Yeah. There she is, right there. Oh. There's the eyes. Do you see the eyes? <laughs> yeah. What was the octopus? The squid. It's kind of the same one for squid. Octopus. There we go. Oof. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. The eyes. Yeah, you see the eyes? Yeah, and I see the whole body. Yeah, you see the whole body. There's the whole octopus there talking to rainbow fish, saying, here's what's what. Got to give those scales away. I can't, <coughs> the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales. Never. How could I ever be happy without them? Oh man, rainbow fish really has a dilemma now. Oh, suddenly he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Here he is considering. He's giving a scale away. <laughs> Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
the little blue fish bubbled playfully and he tucked the shiny scale among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. And the rainbow fish decided to give a scale away. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water <coughs> around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Look at that. All the fish have a glittering scale too. How dumb how blue Here we go. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Aw, look, he's playing with his friends now. And they all have shiny scales. The end. Look at that. Yay! Mm, that Isn't that really a fun book? I'm so glad the rainbow fish learned how to share and play with his other friends. And not be so conceited. <laughs> right. You don't want to think you're too cool. I'm sorry, though. We're going to end our time today with one more song. I have to get my ukulele back on now. No. Oh, my strap is all glittering now. See, friends are wonderful, aren't they? And they can help you get your ukulele on. I know. All right. I think I'll be able to play the ukulele. This is a wonderful classic from a television show. It's a, it's a movie. It's a film called The Little Mermaid. <laughs> And it goes with the theme because it's the exact title of the theme of today's thing. I don't know if you noticed, it's Under the Sea. <laughs> Woo! Okay. <clears throat> Under the sea, the seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but up there is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you. Right here on the ocean floor Such wonderful things surround you What more are you looking for? Under the sea Under the sea Darling, it's better down where it's wetter Take it from me Up on the shore they work all day Out at the sun they slave away While we're devoted time to floating under the sea. You can't sing along, it's okay. <laughs> yes. Down here all the fish are happy as off through the waves they roll. The fish on the land aren't happy. They're sad because they're in the bowl. But fish in the bowl is lucky. They win for a worse fate. One day when the boss gets hungry, Beyond the plate. Whoa! <laughs> under the sea. Under the sea. Nobody beats us, fries us, and eats us in fricassee. We what the land loves, loves to cook. Under the sea, we off the hook. We've got no trouble. Life is the bubbles under the sea. Yeah. <laughs> Just like this week here, we got the
the beef here naturally. Even the sturgeon and the ray, they give the urgent start to play. While well, we've got the spirit, you've got to hear it under the sea. Each little snail here knows how to whale here. That's why it's hotter under the water. Yeah, we're in luck here, down in the muck here, under the sea. Wonderful to have you, and I hope that you learned something about sea creatures, signing, and reading. Right? Is that what we learned today? <laughs> Thank you very so much for coming. Bye. Make sure you remember your twins if you don't have them. You got it.